Coco. Today we're going to be painting a still life using tea. Cheers. When the tea has soaked for about half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, squeeze the tea bags, don't let them split, but squeeze them out like that. And that gives you a pretty dark sort of a brew, okay? At this point, what I want to do is find the centre of these objects. So I'll measure from the edge of the paper to make sure that I've got everything reasonably symmetrical. See, that's out quite a bit there, so I've got to make that wider. This was too narrow there, I'll make that a little bit wider. And if I decide the centre of this is about there, if I measure that, from there and adjust it accordingly. So I've got a few different um, brushes I'm going to use. Uh, you guys will probably have that number four uh, round, that's perfectly right to use. Uh, I quite like using these uh, longer round brushes that are called riggers or liner brushes. I've got uh, a bigger version of that I might use for the bigger areas. Um, so this is the T that I uh, that I've made. I might just give that a bit of a stir before I start. And you want a rag, there's my rag, and you want some water in a water container. And really the, the main thing to think about when you're doing this sort of painting is we're going to build it up with layers because in the first instance you don't get a lot of tone so I'm going to have the light uh, coming from left to right. So I want to put a bit of this around here. This is the first layer of tea. Okay, we're using tea, remember. And I'll wash my brush out, fade that edge. And we're going to build this up slowly. So you've got to let it dry between each coat. So if I add a bit more sort of in the areas, bit of shadow there and then I wash my brush out again in the water a little bit of water on my brush and I just blend that edge there just so it's not quite so abrupt the change in tone okay and remember I'll put a little bit of tone on the inside there because that's going to gradually get darker I'll do the same thing though I'll wash my brush out and I'll just blend that edge there with a little bit of clean water just so I don't get any hard kind of lines at the moment and I'll just start to put in on here there's 
Anything you want white or really, really light, you don't want any tea on that at the moment because once you put it on, you can't, you can't remove it. Okay. And I'll wash my brush out, blend that edge in like that. After the work is completely dried, it'll take about an hour, then we start the second coat. And we just want to be careful that we don't cover up any of the areas that we've left white. So we, when we do a second coat, you can see that it's going to be quite a bit darker. So we just have to be a little bit careful that we don't go over what we want to keep the lightest tone or the white area. Thank you. 